Hello and welcome to Decrypt, a first-person sci-fi horror game where I'm going to be investigating an interstellar freight vessel that went missing, but it was later found abandoned, with its crew gone. What happened to them? Where did they go? That's what I'm here to find out, and if you'd like to find out for yourself, the links and the details are down below in the description. I really hope you enjoy it. If you do, leave this video a like by the end, but either way, leave your thoughts down below in the comments. This is Decrypt. The ISS Traven, a Class C freight vessel on a routine cargo run, fails to arrive at its destination at Zebulus 3. Okay. After repeated failed attempts to contact it, the GIS Trade Federation reports it missing. And there it is. 72 hours later, the Traven is found drifting near a fringe system. It's thousands of clicks off course. Its primary power systems are offline, its comms channels silent, its thrusters dead. There is no perceived activity on board. Hmm, okay. Its crew members remain unreachable. And here's me. <laughs> Who signed my death warrant? Am I volunteering for this? Oh boy. Alright. Oh, an incoming transmission. Well, when you look at that, ah. a Generation 1 BT manufactured freight vessel. Never thought I'd see one of those still operational. That ship's practically a relic. I'm surprised the FCA renewed its registration. So, you got the brief right? The ship didn't turn up at the Zebulus 3 spaceport. A couple of days later, a merchant freight transporting minerals to the Expo Belt spots it on Ladar. It appears to have lost power and coasted a couple hundred thousand clicks off its original course. Right. No comms, no signs of the crew. Looks like they abandoned ship. Hmm. <sighs> Can't say I blame them. The GIS fines for delayed shipments due to avoidable technical faults are brutal. It would have wiped out the crew's pay for months. All right. Abandoning the ship and claiming that their lives were at risk due to a technical failure gets them off the hook because the insurance companies take the hit. <laughs> With a ship that old, it'd be hard to prove otherwise. The system's messed up, what can I say? Now we're left to clean up the mess and file the paperwork. The Traven's crew is still at large, but our patrols will find them. They're probably at a cantina somewhere in this sector. We'll try to get the truth out of them, but I don't have much hope. All right. You know the drill. Once you're on the ship, head to the bridge and extract all the primary logs you can get. Any evidence we can find to tell us what actually happened will help us close this quicker. I'll call you as soon as you're inside. Hmm. So is this all this is? Some sort of insurance scam? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's a horror game, so that's unlikely. Well, in I go. To meet my fate, I suppose. But, uh, yeah. Let's get in and out, and let's see what we can find in the meantime. Can I just get out of here? Can I use the airlock? No? It's offline. Why is it offline? Oh, man. Alright, well, I guess I'm gonna have to find out what happened to the crew. So, the bad news first. The schematics we have on file for this ship's model are so old, they're obsolete. Brilliant. BT stopped making these in 09, and it's been modded beyond recognition over the years. So, you'll have no nav map assistance on your HUD on this mission. Sorry about that. Hmm, okay. The good news, however, is that this ship's layout should be pretty rudimentary. This maintenance hall should lead you out to the ship's primary quarters, and then to the bridge. Take the large bay door up ahead, and keep moving towards the front of the ship. Okay. Since the primary power is down, a lot of the subsystems won't be operational, but most doorways should still work. I'll check back with you in a bit. I'm gonna see what I can dig up on the crew. Might give us a clue to what actually happened here. Okay. Right, so, um, well, it looks like some things have power, like this, this access panel. Uh, right. Biocode encrypted keycard access. Well, let's try and decrypt, right? That's what the game's called. <laughs> okay, decrypting crypto chains. Uh, I need two crypto keys to get through, I guess? Alright. Um, yeah. Hmm, where do I get them? More bad news. The security systems on this relic are so archaic, your override tool's master key bank doesn't have its decryption sequence. 
Fantastic. I don't think our algorithms go back that far, but that's not a problem. You'll just have to find a terminal on the ship's network that's still online, and then you can mine crypto keys to complete the missing chains. You should also be able to pull out encrypted messages from the comm system, which will be helpful. Okay. Hold on, I'm adding a crypto keychain module to your tool belt now. Alright, yeah, I've got none. None whatsoever. And that needed two, right? And presumably this is gonna need one for LSS control at the very least, right? So, okay. What was that? Uh... Hmm. Well, we got storage. This is offline, so the door's open. Brilliant. Ah, look at that, I've got a flashlight. Seems fairly well lit, though. I don't think I need it that much. Uh, right, let's have a look at the terminal, shall we? Yes! Injecting mining ware. And this is where I'm going to get my keys, right? Is this really what the future is going to look like in like three, four hundred years? It's all going to be about mining crypto keys? Oh, boy. Right. Okay, this came with a message. Let's have a look, shall we? Uh, from the captain to uh, Dr. Harry Sharma. They're in the ship. That's what Manu said yesterday at the mess hall. I noticed he wasn't eating, just staring fixedly at his food. His face was pallid. He told me he wasn't sleeping well. The noises. Don't you hear them? He said. Noises? I said. The thuds. The groans. They're coming from the very heart of this vessel. I told him that I heard them too. That we all did. And that they were just the sounds of the bones of this old ship settling. The tectonic shifts of metal plates long past their prime. But he seemed to barely register what I said. When he looked at me, his eyes had a fixed quality that I didn't much care for. He said, They're on the ship. Just that one cryptic sentence. I want you to see him, Doc. I'm worried about him. He hasn't been himself since we started this run. Huh, okay. Well, that's the sort of stuff that I'm here to find, I suppose, right? What else have we got? Okay, hang on. Oh, right, so I can just do it on the fly. I don't need to look at the terminals. Good stuff. Okay. Uh, what's this? Okay, it's the keypad for the locker. So, right. Four-digit code? Fair enough. Um, I'll come back when i found what it is, I suppose. Anything else? Uh, I don't believe so. And was it just the one key we could get? I guess so. It looks like the terminal's powered down. Well, that one over there needed two, so, well, hopefully this one only needs the one. LSS control, let's try it. Yeah, okay, awesome. And it is actually used, so I'm gonna need to find another two to get through there. Okay. Alright. I quite like this so far, gotta be honest. It is reminding me a little bit of, like, Dead Space and Alien Isolation. Okay. That terminal doesn't have any power, because the primary power systems are down. These ones are still up and running, though, I think. Well, they're offline. Um, actually, no, this one... this one seems to be online. So yeah, let's do it again. Hopefully I can find two keys. That'd be nice. Uh, well, I've got one, so that's a start. Alright. But there is another message, okay. Alright, so Terminal 4 is still crapped out. I swear this junkyard ship's falling apart. The power fluctuations and network failures are growing worse. We flipped back and forth to back up power a dozen times already since we left Nagari. At this rate, we won't make it halfway to Zebulus. So the temporary power rig you set up for Terminal 4 is still missing a power cell. You told me you'd put one in yesterday. I guess you forgot? Can't say I blame you, what with all the shit that's going down. Could you replace the cell, please? There's a spare in the locker in storage. The locker's code, haha, the locker's code is 4121. 4121, that's the code I was looking for. Alright. Uh, so, let's see, for that one over there, maybe? So what's this? Well... Well, this, hang on, this is the power module. This is maybe where the cell goes? Right, okay. Well, let's go back to the locker first. Yeah. Yeah, what is that with the green stains? Maybe that's got something to do with the crew's disappearance? I'm seeing them quite frequently. Let's see. 
four, one, two, one. And it works! The code wasn't changed. Awesome. Right. Well, there's the power cell. Uh, anything else? I, I don't believe so. But, um, well, that should be enough to get that terminal up and running, right? Terminal 4. And maybe that's where I'm going to get power fluctuations? <laughs> nah, maybe that is where I'm going to get that last key that I need to get through the main door. So, well, I guess, yeah, we've got to put it here, haven't we? Okay, slots right in. And that's connected to, yeah, the terminal. So, more mining? More mining, okay. I feel I should get used to this process. <laughs> Just the one? Okay, I think it's just the one again. I'm just hoping that I'm going to get, you know, like a boatload. Like a hundred that's going to cover me for the remainder of the game. Okay, again, this comes with a message. Let's see. Okay, again, it's from the captain. This time to near Glassy in comms. Manu's condition concerns me. He vacillates between nervous energy and a kind of sullen silence. His pronouncements are growing increasingly dire and nonsensical, and he exhibits a high degree of paranoia. He says they are down in the cargo hold. He seems to be withdrawing into himself. Doc saw him earlier today. He said he'll give me an update soon. It's odd how Manu is so troubled by these noises. They are, to be honest, disconcerting. Jorge said that sounds have a way of resonating in an old ship like this. He says they're likely originating from the cargo hold below, where the ship's core structural spine is, and travelling through the air ducts. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. Nia, any luck on those records? I want anything you can get on the history of this ship. Who owned it before Navo? Who was the last crew? How long since its FCA approval? And so on. We know this ship is pre garout War, which makes it about half an ES century old. The bizarre power fluctuations and the randomly falling subsystems bode ill. The ship was perfectly alright when we left Nagari. If they've dumped a crippled vessel on us to balance their books, I'm gonna have heads roll at the GIS. I won't risk the life of my crew for the sake of their stupid corporate fuckery. Alright. Well, I don't think this is merely stupid corporate fuckery. Not this time. Or at least I hope not. <laughs> I hope there's more to this. Okay. Uh, that keeps happening. Oh dear. Okay, that's a problem. Right. Okay, well now I am going to need that flashlight. Thankfully, it looks like the power to the access panel is still on, so I should be able to get through. I got the two keys. Yeah, okay. But again, unfortunately, they get used up. Shame I couldn't take copies or something. Oh well. I guess that's the point, right? Okay. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> I think I'm hearing some of these noises. Ooh, and I'm seeing some of the shadows. Hey, the game just saved. I'm going to do something stupid. I'm going to run towards the shadow. If I die, I die. Ah, okay. Another one of these stains. Was that a crew member? Or something else? Right, um, well, let's take a look at this. What do we need? Obviously, I don't have what I need right now, but... Do we need one, two, three, four, five? Three. Oh boy, okay, uh, I'll have to come back a little bit later. End data, I'm gonna need at least one to get through there. Tech, again, that looks like it's closed up, I'm gonna need at least one. Hopefully somewhere around here I'm gonna find a door that's open, or I'm gonna find a terminal just out in the corridor. Why am I doing this by myself? This seems so daft. <laughs> Medical? Can't get into medical, I don't think. There's... Ah. Ah, here we go. The stockroom's open. And there's a locker as well. And there's a terminal. Okay. Well, let's see. Yeah, go for it. Fingers crossed, this is the one where we're going to get 10 plus. Just the one again. Can't it be keys extracted instead of key? Come on. And another message. Right, okay. I'm, I'm seeing the game's formula. <laughs> I've tried everything, boss, but I'm not able to figure out the power issue. All systems are testing fine on our maintenance tools. It's fucking infuriating. 
And now we have the leaks. I have no clue what the foul-smelling green stuff coming out of the vents is. Rico says it looks and smells like the acid fertilizers they used on the fields in his homeworld. But that's ridiculous. We ain't carrying any such thing in our cargo. And even if we were, and if there was a leak from one of the containers, the stuff wouldn't flow into our airflow system. Also, I don't know how to say this, boss, but the crew are a bit jittery. This is just a small vessel. There's just ten of us. It's not like this is our first run. Some of these guys have been on trips past the Sven systems, but this ship has some bad mojo. The way Manu's going off his head and now Rico says he saw something yesterday in the corridor, he looked shook. And you know Rico, he's as steady as stone, and always thinks he's right. So I went and checked. I didn't see anything. Not then. But the day before, when I was surveying the vents, I swear I saw something moving up there in the dark. Look, I don't know, boss. I hate to sound like a greenfoot, but I ain't at ease either. Something about this ship ain't right, and my sleep ain't working. I keep waking up, and I can't remember what woke me. Yeah, something's definitely going on. It's not like the rambling of a fool or a madman, is it? Right, yeah, no mention of uh, a code. I'm wondering if it's 4121, though. Okay, it doesn't seem to be. Right, um, so... Which door do I try? <laughs> Medical, maybe? How many keys do you need? Hopefully just the one. Let's see. Yeah! It was just the one crypto key that I needed to use, so now we have access to the med bay. If the door works. <laughs> Is it stuck? Whoa! Oh. Oh, I wasn't ready for that. Oh, and now the door works fine. Right. What was that? Was that a crew member? An alien? It looked humanoid. Can I go in? Huh. More of this green shit on the floor as well. I don't know all the crew members' names yet, but have you got one on board called Sonic? That might explain a few things. Right, we have another terminal, and I think another locker as well. Right, maybe I can get a key here. I don't know, maybe I can get 20! Come on, fingers crossed for 20. Can I get the plural, not the singular this time? Ah, it's always one! <laughs> Alright, and are we going to get a message? Yes, we always get a message, it seems. Well, that's what I'm really here for. Okay, this one is from the doctor to the captain, and it says, Aaron, I had Manu come in today. He tried to avoid the appointment, which I was expecting, so I had Nia escort him here. It's hard to say no to Nia. <laughs> You're right. It's shocking how sickly he looks. He didn't talk at first, and when he finally did, he asked, no, begged me for some... Terozoxane? Takrozoxane 500, better known as Blank Slate among the wreck drug kids, and as deep out by the guides in the military, but I digress. When I told him we can't issue out a sedative that strong without good reason, he said he sure as hell had a good reason. I haven't slept in days, he said. Why not, I said. Having bad dreams? The reason I asked him was that I had two others come in with the same complaint. He said, yes, I think so. I asked him what the dreams were about, and he said he couldn't remember, but I sensed he was being evasive. When I probed, he said, they're in here with us. Who? I asked. At first, he did not reply. He stared into a corner of the room and at the beds. Finally, he turned to me and his eyes locked with mine, and he said, We should never have set foot on this ship. We shouldn't be here. I must admit that a chill went down my spine. Something about this whole business is troubling. I checked his vitals, and they were fine. His blood pressure is a little higher than normal, but I would have been surprised if it weren't. He's lost some weight, but he's exhausted. But at least he's physically fine. His condition appears to be the result of sustained levels of high anxiety bordering on paranoia. I prescribed him half a dose of tecrosexane. He popped the pill right here before I could stop him, so I sent him to his room. He was so distracted that he left his access key to the network data room. Ah, I see. Right. Oh, Nia moved it to the locker and the code is 1109. There you go. Okay. So it's not going to be the locker in this room, but the one in the stock room? Okay. Anything else? Certainly no weird creatures in here with me. All right. 1109 then. Let's just go straight back to that locker. Yeah, maybe I should be worried about the uh, the open vents that I'm seeing. <laughs> it is reminding me a lot more of alien isolation now. Right. So 1109? That does seem to work. Okay. 
the access card, right, so it's not all about mining crypto keys. We don't have to hack into everything. Right, so, end data. And we're in. Okay. And there's another terminal, which means, hopefully, another one or two keys? Probably another message. I think we're always guaranteed a key in a message. Yep, just the one, unfortunately. And the message? There it is. So this is from Rico, System Ops, to the captain, who says, Cap, the security systems are falling one by one. We've got doors suddenly completely inoperable, and then they return to normalcy minutes later for no apparent reason. The system diagnostics reveal nothing. I'm switching all doors from BioRec to manual access keys. The others aren't going to like it, but till we figure out what's causing this, I'd feel better if we kept the protocols basic. I suspect the green fluid that's coming out of the vents is seeping into the ship's electronics. Although, if that was so, everything would be shorting out by now. Jorge's doing his best to keep the ducks clean, but the stuff just keeps coming back. It's driving him crazy. I don't mean to cry doom, but the way things are going, it's possible that all primary systems may fail before we reach Zebulus. If you ask me, the ship should have never left Nagari. But I saw the GIS reports with my own eyes before we left. They cleared the ship to take off, and their diagnostics were legit. All systems were a go. Twenty years in ship system ops. I've never seen anything like this. It just doesn't make sense. Something's seriously wrong with this vessel. And I don't just mean the electronics. You see the look in everyone's eyes? No one's sleeping right. And no one will talk about it. Jorge saw something in the air ducts, but he wouldn't say what. All I know was that he looked more perturbed than usual. I've seen something too, Cap. I don't even... I can't even explain. Something unspeakable in the shadows. Hmm. Something unspeakable in the shadows, he says. All right. I don't believe there's anything else for me to find here. No additional lockers or anything like that. Um, I guess there's one place that we haven't gone, and that's tech. So... Maybe tech is two keys? Let's see. Brilliant, okay. I'm still gonna need three to get through the big door. But, uh, ah, okay. Okay, okay, well, there's a few terminals in here. Are they all offline? That one's not. I, whoa! I, <laughs> oh, no. I mean, that did spook me, but it also looked kind of goofy. Kinda wish I didn't see it. <laughs> uh, okay, we've got two that are actually working right here, so let's try this one first. Mm -hmm. One key from this, and presumably one key from the one behind me. We're still gonna need another one, and I guess it's got something to do with the locker, so I'm, I'm looking for a code, I'm looking for a combination. Okay, so this is from the captain to the doctor. I'm seriously concerned about the way things are going. The ship's practically falling apart around us. I can't risk this anymore. I've told Nia to put out an SOS signal and to flag down the first passing ship. I know that this will result in all kinds of trouble with the GIS, those ruthless bastards. They'll try to pin a failed run on us, accuse us of pulling an insurance scam, and then hammer us with fines. But that's okay. I'm not going to risk the lives of my people. And then there's the other stuff. Manu hasn't left his room in two days. And the others are rattled and on edge. I don't care what this is. Collective hysteria, lock-in syndrome. What matters is the incidents. I don't know what else to call it. Are growing more frightening. There can be no denying it. Something is in here with us. And it means it's great harm. Unfortunately, no locker code. But maybe over here? Let's see. It's a shame some of these aren't audio logs. Don't you think? Does it all have to be text-based? The voice acting at the beginning was actually pretty good, so it's a shame they couldn't get a couple more people to fill in for a, I don't know, maybe the captain and the doctor. Anyway, that's one more key and one more message, hopefully containing a four-digit code, otherwise I'm not really sure what's going on. Um, most of the terminals have gone offline again, Cap, and one or two of them have shut down completely. Everyone's dumping on me, but what can I do? I still think something's getting at the wiring. I tried to get Jorge to take a look, but he's too busy trying to keep the LSS going. And he's so stressed, he yells at me if I talk to him. We only got these three terminals operational and online, and now Terminal 7 is powered down too. I've managed to set up an auxiliary power rig, but we're short of a cell. 
I had loaned one to the med room last week. Could you get Jorge to collect it and hook it up when he has time? He won't pay me any heed. He can take it from the med locker directly. Looks like, looks like the code is one, two, three, four. I wish I tried that earlier. One, two, three, four, right. You hear that? One, two, three, four. Okay, so just down the corridor. Everything's okay. Everything's definitely not okay, but everything's okay. <laughs> hmm. I kind of want to, like, bolt it shut or something, quite honestly, but yeah. One, two, three, four. Let's try it. Yep, it does work. And we're in. And there's another power cell. And I think that's all we're going to take. Okay. Ooh, oh dear. Right. Can I hide in this locker? No. Okay. What was that? Just a weird vision? Maybe I am hallucinating. I mean, there's definitely something on board the ship, right? But maybe it can do that? And why do I think it's got something to do with this slime? Huh. Strange. Very strange. Right, okay. We need one more key. Oh boy. Oh boy, yeah, the power just keeps on going down. But thankfully, I think I can still go into tech, and yes! Right, there it is. This is where I put the power cell, and hopefully I can get this up and running. I need one final key before I can move on. There we go. We've got a lot of mining to do. <laughs> I don't know how far we are through the game. Apparently it takes 45 minutes to an hour to complete, so maybe we're like halfway through. It is good so far, but oh my, there is a lot of reading. Right, okay, so another message. Yeah, that's why I desire audio logs, quite honestly, so I could get on with other stuff as I'm listening, but here we go. Boss, I think the engines are getting affected now. Did you feel the hitch an hour ago? It's fucking crazy. And did Nia tell you about comms? I'll let her give you the bad news herself. I don't think we're going to get that SOS out. Also, you need to talk to Rico, boss. He's getting on my nerves. He keeps asking me to check every damn duct on the ship. And I already got my hands full. Also, why did you let him alter the security protocol on every damn door? He's turned off BioRec and switched to physical access keycards. Like we're back in the 22nd century. He says he wants no one anywhere without a physical card on their person. Hmm. This is causing havoc. I've already misplaced the access key to my room somewhere. I think I left it at the showers. Now I need to waste more time finding the thing. Also, have you seen Manu anywhere? He's not in his room. And Doc says he shouldn't be wandering around because he's on pretty strong meds. If you see him, tell him Doc's looking for him urgently. Thanks. Right, okay. Well, if we find the showers, we might be able to find his access card, I suppose. Assuming that he didn't find it after writing that. Um, main thing is, though, we have three crypto keys. So we should be able to move on to the next section. I'm just waiting for the next jump scare, quite honestly. <laughs> Maybe it's going to be beyond this door. Let's find out. It was just three, right? It wasn't four? Okay, good. Good. Alright. Okay, we're getting closer to the front of the ship. It's a bit of a shame I didn't start at that end, quite honestly. Okay. Oh. Ah, long time no see. Hey, I've been trying to reach you. Something is interrupting comms out of that ship. Right. If you're seeing this, listen. We tried to locate the crew. We put out a bulletin at every system in this sector, but we came up empty. We traced the course of the tavern, and not a single vessel rendezvoused with it since it left Nagari. It looks like the crew never left the ship. Hmm. I've requested Debt 2 to take over this investigation. This isn't a data ops mission anymore. Abort and head to the nearest airlock. There should be one by the bridge or down in the cargo bay. Okay. Alright. Listen. There's something else. I've looked up records on this ship, and here's where things get really strange. It appears Ooh. this isn't the first time there's been an incident with missing Oh yeah, there's definitely a problem with comms. Right, but it sounds like I'm I'm getting out of dodge, if I can. Okay, showers? We got wing A. Can I just go through here? Alright. 
Oh man, look at all that mining that I need to do. Okay, hang on. The bathroom, the showers? Gonna go in? Right. Look at these thick-ass doors. <laughs> okay. Yep, alright. There is something down here. Is this the card? There you go. Room two. Whoa! <laughs> oh shit! Okay. Oh, look at all that blood. Oh shit. Oh fuck. <laughs> oh, I can't see a thing! My flashlight's not working! Yes it is. There's no threat, is there? Again, I think I was just seeing things. Something wants to make me see things, I think. Can I? No, I can't. Okay, right. Uh, so, uh, that kind of spooked the information out of me. Which one was that? I think I think it was room two. Wing A. Well, let's have a look. All right. So we got one. So it's two up ahead. Okay, most of them are actually offline. But there are a couple we might be able to access. Okay. I haven't found a body yet. And that seems kind of strange. Did they all turn into that thing? I'm not sure. Right. More keys, please. Okay, yep, yeah, one more key. And one more message, that's right. How can a person go missing in a confined vessel in boundless interstellar space? We searched every corner of this cursed ship, and there's no trace of Manu. He had grown more withdrawn over the last few days. When I visited him the day before, I noticed a smell about him. It wasn't just the stench of an unwashed body, but something lower. An animal smell of desperation. He stared past me and into the corridor when I tried to talk to him. None of the escape pods have deployed, and they're not even operational now. So he has to be on this ship. Except, he isn't. I see the raw panic in the eyes of the others. Some of them are urging me to turn the ship around, but the state it's in? We're not going to make it back. Nia's working on getting the SOS out, but comms isn't fully operational. Yet more troubles. We're going to do everything we can to find Manu. He has to be here. Meanwhile, the sightings are getting more frequent. The nature of the encounters, more horrific. What have those things done to Manu? Where have they taken him? For I have no doubt in my mind that they are responsible. I can sense a growing malevolence, a kind of hunger. God help us. I have given standing instructions to the crew. Until we know how to deal with them, if you see one of those things, run. Do not engage. Turn away and run. Okay. It's one of those games. <laughs> I'm not going to be finding a pistol or something. Okay, so we've got one key. And is that all we're going to find? Oh, okay. Let's pretend that I wasn't spooked by the door opening. Um, yeah, I, I think so. I think so. Oh god, run, run! <laughs> Press shift to run. Only now it's telling me that. Okay. Um, I just want to go back on myself. I... Oh, I can't, can I? Of course I can't. Right. So what's at the other side? What we got over here? There's wing B and uh, the toilets. Out of service. Oh, say it ain't so. I really do abide by the rules. I can't get this sign out of the way. <laughs> okay. Wing B? Right. Let's see. Are these all offline? Okay, that one isn't. Well, let's see. What does this need? I do have one crypto key. Maybe that's going to be enough? Apparently so. Hopefully I'm using it in the right spot. I don't know if you can make errors like that in this game. I hope not, but... Right. Oh boy. <laughs> you know what? On second thoughts, I don't want to go into that room. But I know I'm going to have to. Right. Okay, we do actually have a locker here. Uh, and there's also a terminal. And what's this? Oh, another access card for, for room 5 in wing A. Right. Let's mind this, let's read this message, and let's get out of here as soon as possible. All right.
right. Okay, so... Rico said he'd seen Manu heading down towards the cargo hold, but we checked. The power grid is almost completely shorted, so there's hardly any light down there. Those horrible sounds seemed louder down there, but no sign of Manu. I'm still not able to get comms back up, so that SOS isn't looking likely. I can't seem to isolate the problem. The electronics check out okay, but all we're getting is static. It just doesn't make sense. Everyone's seeing those things now, and the encounters are more violent. Jorge thinks they're coming through the vents, but I'm not sure. They seem to appear out of thin air. There's something else. Just before comms went down, I got a message back from my contact at the GIS. I just saw it now. It's the records of the ship's history you'd requested. I'm poring over them, and I'll send you a summary shortly. You're not going to believe what I've found. Hmm. Okay. Well, I guess we're going to find that in another message up ahead. So, no combination for that locker, but I've got to remember that it's here. I should have access to another room in the other wing. Can we go through here? Mm, we've been here before. What's this, another jump scare? Is it not working? Okay, I, I don't think it's working. Let's use the other door, on the other side. I mean, I suppose we're going to have to go through one of them to proceed, right? Okay. Still no chance of getting in the bathroom, still no chance of checking those toilets for access cards or crypto keys. Such a shame. Such a shame. But wing A, room 5, right? Oh boy, I wish this was just a little bit brighter. Room 5 has got to be this one at the end on the right, surely. Yeah, it seems to be. What about this door? Does it work? It does. It does. Okay. Right, I'll, uh, I'll go through there in a moment, I suppose. Okay, well, at least this vent's closed. Anything in the locker? Nothing that I want to take. Okay. Go on. It's a shame that we're having to do this so much. The game is just a little bit too formulaic, in my opinion. It's always find a terminal, mine a key, read a message, move on to the next one. It's just getting a little bit stale, but I am kind of intrigued by the story and I want to know how it ends up, so I'm going to keep on playing. Anyway, this is from the captain to Jorge the tech. Whatever little chance we had of getting the system back is gone with Rico. The engines are dead, the nav systems are shot, and we're coasting, heading off course. With comms down, we're incommunicado. We can't even get the escape pods operational. Now that Rico's missing, I want you to do everything you can to keep life support systems running until we can find a way off this ship. Rico had the key to the 4 LSS room. It should be in his locker, along with a spare power cell. Get the key in the power cell and head to the 4 LSS room and try to get at least one terminal going. Since the trouble started, Rico moved to room 3 in wing B. He didn't want to be near Manu's old room. He had handed over all the codes to me yesterday, just in case his locker code is 9971. Jorge, be careful. 9971. That's the locker code we're after. Alright. No one's peering down from the ceiling, thankfully. And no one's just outside the door. Okay, let's go this way. Let's just see if we can proceed with two crypto keys. It's probably not going to work, though. Okay, uh, well, this is it. This is the main door. This is how we get further and further to the front of the ship. We're going to need three or four, presumably, right? Three. We need one more. Okay, all right. Uh, I did notice there was another door here. Yeah, on the right. Oh, this is LSS control. Okay, all right. Yeah, sure. Uh, two might do it. No, I need three again. Okay, well, okay. I, I think we need to go and have a look at the locker. And is this going to work? No. All right. All the way around. <laughs> We've got a long way to go. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Right. Uh, in here? In here. Just run. Okay. 
Yeah, he just appeared out of thin air, just appeared behind me there, I think. And from the sounds of it, I think he's already gone. Strange. Anyway, this is the locker that we need to have a look at, and I think it should be 9971. It is! Okay, so are we going to find a couple of things? That's right, the access card, so we don't even need those three, and a power cell. Right. Yeah, that door's still not going to work, so again, we're going to have to go the long way around. <laughs> okay, a marathon later, here we are. So I can use the car to access it. I don't need to use the keys. Hopefully I'm going to find one more key in here. And I probably am going to need to use a power cell somewhere, right? Okay, that. Or this one, maybe. Right, here we go. Let's put the cell here. Let's get that terminal up and running. And let's mine one more key and read one more message. You know, just to shake things up, maybe we're not going to get a message this time. Have we done that? Have we have we got a key without seeing a message yet? Nope, there's always a damn message. <laughs> I just want this game to change it up a little bit, that's all. Anyway, this is from near to the captain. I got away, but I'm trapped in the med bay. Doc's not here. I hope to God he's okay. We haven't found Rico yet. I have no idea where the others are. I last saw Jones and Summit in the maintenance hall an hour ago, but no word from them since. So about those records, I learned that the ship was purchased from BT in 2395 by the Thones system. The Thones, if you remember, were part of a rebel movement out of the Pexis Belt. For nearly half a century they invaded and conquered dozens of worlds on the outer edge of the belt. Their government was theocratic. They followed a creed that espoused rigid social segregation based on genetics. They believed that one's genes, or rather specific codes in our genomes, defined one's worth and place in society. You know how I feel about that. Genetics, race, eugenics, it's all the same. Just another instrument that humans have used since the dawn of time to oppress and exploit the other. The ideology is a thin cover for profit. Every member of the Thone Society and their colonies, every man, woman and child, were put into a social order, and the lowest strata was the slave. The Thones subjected their slaves to all manner of atrocities. Their slaves had their wills and bodies broken. They were not allowed to marry, but were instead bred. Generations were born into bondage. Despite pressure from the center, the Thones refused to give up their devastating enterprise. Before the Geralt Wars vanquished their government, they had enslaved and sold thousands across the stars. This vessel, the ISS Traven, was a slaver ship. Its cargo bay, a slave hold. Its purpose was to carry its ill-fated cargo across interstellar space for trade and profit. After the war and the decimation of the Thone government, the Traven disappears off the records for a time. It reappears nearly a decade later. It had been sold for a pittance to off-world merchant traders who renovated it and used it for interplanetary cargo runs. Over the years, the ship changed hands frequently, often abruptly. There are records of it being abandoned briefly at salvage docks to be scrapped, and there are other stories, whispers of bizarre incidents, crew abandonment, illnesses, deaths. The crew before us did just a single run before they sold it to an N-tier dealership, which then sold it to Navo. Navo made a killing on the deal, and that's how we're here. But there's more, sir. Something far worse. During its slavery era, an incident occurred on this ship so horrific that I could find nothing about it in the official GIS records. My contact dug it out of the wire. I'll tell you more when I meet you at the bridge. Ah, can't you tell us more about it now? So is that why all the spooky shit's happening? Because of this incident, or the incidents you know, of the slaves being on the ship in the past? Oh shit, okay. <laughs> time to go, time to go! Oh boy, okay, definitely time to go. Oh man, right, okay. Uh, I have the three keys. That should be enough to get through. We're gonna have to do some very, very quick decrypting. Right, okay, okay, it's disabled, let's go, oh boy. Oh yeah, there's definitely more than one. Right, okay, here we are, here we are. Okay, I guess I'm kinda safe, that door's locked. <laughs> it means I can't get out, but it means they can't get in, I guess. Okay, we've got the mess hall here, alright. Okay, there is someone sitting down there. 
Can we go in? Okay. A little bit apprehensive. I feel I should definitely check this out, though. I don't think I'll touch the food. No. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, this doesn't seem like a good idea. Nope, definitely not a good idea. <laughs> I knew it. I bloody knew it. Right, okay, time to run. Time to go. You barely see a thing. Okay, there's the door. Right, what we got here? We got the lounge, right. Oh, I think I need a key for that. Oh, Christ, I'm going to need a keys for this as well. Um, so... Have I stopped being chased? Yes. They can appear out of thin air, and apparently they can disappear back into thin air. There's definitely something down there, though, on the table. Oh, right. Okay, so I don't need a key for that. Do I fancy any water? Tea? Coffee? Cola? What about going back to the kitchen? Oh, no. I know how I react to these signs. If it says caution out of service, it really does mean caution out of service. I just... I can't move it out of the way. It's too heavy, you know? <laughs> Actually, with the uh, with the green stains that I'm seeing, probably best I don't go back there. Right, so let's get to the lounge and... Well, I don't know. Maybe I'm going to find another card or get another key? It's going to be one of the two, though. I think at this point I know how this game works. Alright. No one's just chilling out, no? No one's playing X Game X. <laughs> there is another terminal though, so right, let's go get a key. Okay. Alright, and the message? I can't reach Jones and submit any longer. We're down to just four people now. I can't make it to the bridge. There are too many of those things now. The dock's gone too. I haven't been able to reach anyone over the local network in hours. I'm not sure where you are, or if you'll even see this. The thing that happened on the ship during its Thone era may have a bearing on what we're going through. Just before the war, during a run, about 120 slaves broke free from the holding cells below and charged into the upper decks. They overpowered and killed two crew members who were making for the bridge when the crew sealed the primary doors and trapped them in the bridge hall. The captain then authorized pumping Q11A6 nerve gas, long band, into the decks. Okay. The slaves were already weak from the drugs used to sedate them and their meager rations. The nerve gas paralyzed them and decimated the uprising. As retribution, and to set an example, the crew flayed the slaves to an inch of their lives, slashed and seared their bodies, and then hewed off noses and lips and ears. That's why the monsters look the way they do, I suppose. They were then thrown, still alive, into vats of acid fertilizer in the hold. And that's the green stuff, right? Yeah, KL12, a bile green amalgamate used in the offworlds for soil prep. They died slow, agonizing deaths down in the dark. The ship returned to its homeworld. There were no charges made against the crew. Instead, they were lauded for quelling an uprising, and the incident was wiped from official records. The Garat War followed a few years later, and we know the rest. The Thones were crushed, and this ship disappears for nearly a decade. It was likely used to ferry weapons and soldiers for the war effort at the time. Captain, there are forces at work here beyond our ability to understand. These walls have seen too much blood. This vessel should never fly again. In case I don't see you again, I'd like to tell you that you did all you could. It's been an honor to serve with you. Right, okay. Ouch. Yeah, that, that sounds painful. Flayed within an inch of your lives, off come the noses and such, and then into acid. Yeah. Bloody hell. Right. Um, do we just need the one key to get through? One way to find out, I suppose. I like how I'm still researching, you know? I, I was told to get out and let someone else come in and finish the job a long, long time ago, but... Well, I suppose I've got to go through this to get out, haven't I? Okay, the bridge! Finally! We're at the bridge, or nearly at the bridge. Okay. Cargo hold over there. Oh, 
Oh, fuck. Um, well, cargo hold it is. Let's go see the remnants of the uprising, perhaps. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think this is a pretty good game, but I think it is let down a little bit, and it is a little bit dull because of all the reading that you have to do. I just wish there were audio logs or, or more varied things that you could get up to. Okay. I also wish that there was perhaps a brighter flashlight, because this one's pretty bad. Right through here. Okay. Right. So here we go. Here's the cargo, here's all the containers. And here's more of that green stuff. Um, yeah. This way? I'm going to try and stay in the well-lit areas, if I can. See how that ends up. Okay. Uh, this door's open. What we got? Anything? There is a terminal. Just the one? Just the one. Okay. Let's get one more key. And read one more message. Okay, here we go. So this one is from the captain to, well, anyone who wants to read it by the looks of it, to whoever sees this, they're all gone. Jorge, Rico, Doc, Ian, Jones, Samit, Vasu, Manu, Nia. Their names ring in my head like a death chant. Their faces are ever in my mind. I couldn't save them, though I should have been able to. We've fallen through a chink in space and time. We've slipped into a netherworld where the past and the present have somehow collided. Where the dead do not rest and the living are made ghosts. There's no explanation for what has happened here. Except that sometimes history is a dead weight that burdens the living. We pay for the past, though we have raised neither fist nor whip. To the dead, we must all look the same. I'm going to keep looking for them down here. Jorge, Rico, Doc, Ian, Jones, Sumit, Vasu, Manu, Nia. And if I can't find them, I'm going to try and make it to the EVA airlock at the end of Cargo Hold 2. Maybe that's where I should be heading to. If I get out, I'll find a way to have this ship destroyed. Let this vessel and whatever walks in it be buried forever. Captain Aaron Dravid. Right. So. Cargo Hold 2. Are we in that one? Or is this number one? Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay. We gotta run again. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, we definitely have to run. I just... Oh. Jeez. All right, yep. Oh, bloody hell, they're all ganging up now, aren't they? Okay, round here. Okay, where are we going to go? I say to the left. I say to the right. Yes. <laughs> okay, nothing round here? No? Oh, boy. Okay, again, going to have to do some very, very quick decrypting. Come on, come on. Yes, 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 come on. They've got to be right behind me now. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. Okay. Okay. Right. What's this? The airlock access card. Right. Brilliant. Am I safe? I don't know. I guess so. They could have come in if they wanted to. Maybe they're just trying to scare me in the right direction? I'm not really sure. Maybe they do wish me harm. Maybe they just assume everyone's a slaver. Hmm. Okay. It's probably around here, right? Well. It does seem to be a way through. Yeah. Okay. And I'm not getting followed? No. Looks like they've given up. At least for now. Uh, that's not good, is it? No, no it's not. Okay, just keep on going. <laughs> Trying to find the airlock. Is that it up ahead? That could be it. I think that's probably it. Okay. Oh dear. Okay, right. 
Uh, okay, maybe not, maybe not. Okay, let's go this way instead. Yeah, I, I couldn't see, you know, uh, an access keycard point or anything. This way? Just head towards the light, right? At this point, head towards the light. Airlock, yes! Okay, well, I've got the card, so... No need to force my way in this time. Okay! Alright, and I am out of here. I really didn't think I was going to make it out. But wait, is there one on board? I hope you're okay. Debt 2 officers will arrive on the scene soon. I just saw the messages you obtained from the ship's networks. I've sent them over to the labs. None of it makes sense for now, but it should help us bring closure to this investigation. Well done. Thank you. So I am going to make it? A week after your mission, the ISS Traven is deregistered by the GIS and is transported to an orbital scrap processor for destruction. Okay. Its crew were never found. So essentially what you're saying is my investigation didn't go too well. <laughs> Not in that regard. Well, I could have told you that. But there you go, that's the end. I really didn't think I was going to make it out of that one alive, but looks like I did. So, that was Decrypt, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments. Like or dislike the video. Did you enjoy this game? Hopefully you enjoyed the video, even if you didn't enjoy the game that much. I think the game was a little bit dull by the end, a little bit boring, and it was maybe a little bit lackluster, even though it had a fairly interesting story. It was a little bit too formulaic for me. It was just going from terminal to terminal, going from message to message, mining here, mining there, and then moving on. And yeah, I just wish there were a few more systems in place to keep it a little bit more interesting and stimulating. As I said earlier, maybe some of the notes could have been audio logs, just to change it up a little bit. Some of the scares were pretty good, and I quite enjoyed the look of the enemies and the threat that they did pose occasionally. And the story was good, you know? but. Maybe not the most fun game to play. So, overall I did like it, but I didn't love it. It could have been a little bit better in my opinion. But that was Decrypt. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments, alright? Let me know what you thought about it, and I hope to see you back in another video very soon. See you then. And here's me. <laughs> Who signed my death warrant? Am I volunteering for this? It's offline. Why is it offline? Oh man. Alright, well I guess I'm going to have to find out what happened to the crew. And maybe that's where I'm going to get... Power fluctuations? <laughs> More mining. Okay. I feel I should get used to this process. <laughs> huh. <laughs> I think I'm hearing some of these noises. Ooh, and I'm seeing some of these shadows. And another message, right, okay. I'm, I'm seeing the game's formula. <laughs> if the door works. <laughs> Is it stuck? Whoa! Oh. Oh, I wasn't ready for that. Ah, it's always one. There's a few terminals in here. Are they all offline? That one's not. I, whoa! I, <laughs> everything's okay. Everything's definitely not okay, but everything's okay. Oh, oh dear. Here's where things get really strange. It appears oh. this is... Whoa! And is that all we're gonna find? Oh, okay. Let's pretend that I wasn't spooked by the door opening. Right. Oh boy. <laughs> you know what? On second thoughts, I don't want to go into that room. Still no chance of getting in the bathroom. Still no chance of checking those toilets for access cards or crypto keys. Such a shame. Nope, there's always a damn message. <laughs> I just want this game to change it up a little bit, that's all. Oh shit. Okay. <laughs> time to go, time to go. Oh boy. Okay. Definitely time to go. Yeah, this doesn't seem like a good idea. Nope, definitely not a good idea. <laughs> okay, where are we gonna go? I say to the left. I say to the right. Yes. 